Mao Yuxia is the name of one of China's most prominent scholars in the field of economics. The, the chairman of the Unirul Institute of Economics, that's an independent free market think tank uh, he co-founded in Beijing. He's also a pioneer of microfinance and poverty alleviation programs in China. Now, back in 2012, this 84-year-old uh, former rail engineer was named the winner of the Cato Institute's Milton Friedman Prize for Advancing Liberty. But his influence and the strong feelings he arouses is not limited to the field of economics. His outspoken remarks on China's political system have seen him uh, both praised and reviled. His supporters say he's an advocate of much-needed reform and greater liberalization to improve the lives of all Chinese people. On the other side, those who oppose him view him as a tool of Western liberal democracies and uh, have even called him a traitor in the pay of China's enemies and worse. One contentious aspect of Mao's beliefs has been his robust criticism of former Chinese leader Mao Zedong, uh, no relation of course. After Mao Yuxia wrote an online column attacking the policies of Mao Zedong and uh, their legacy, he came under sustained attack from fervent Maoists. Some of these held noisy protests and disrupted several of Mao's speaking engagements. Indeed, many of these have since been cancelled. The Economist uh, has even received threatening calls and messages at his home. So what does the online community feel about this elderly scholar who seems to stir up such extreme passions and uh, so much discussion both inside and outside China? Well, to get an idea of the online opinion, uh, let's now join our researcher Esther Dung in the newsroom. So uh, first, Esther, just give us uh, an overview of the, of the online view of Mao Yuxia and his theories. Uh, is that sharp division that I mentioned there also reflected uh, amongst the net users you've seen? Well, first, I'd like to say that Mao Yuxi has certainly been a really hot and controversial topic in the Chinese online community recently with discussion and debate on all kinds of forums. And based on the comments I've seen, yes, Post's opinions are clearly divided. One can view him as something of a maverick, and many accuse him of not being loyal to China. Uh, Lin Wei Bu Wei on Sohu.com says bluntly, Mao Yuxi is a spokesman for Western politics and is nothing but a running dog for Western politicians. Uh, and this poster named UK New is no fan either, but bases his opinion on academic rather than political factors. I don't think Mao lives up to the title China's famous economist. For me, his economic theories are no better than those of a college student. I just can't understand why Chinese media devote so much space and time to such an average economist. Uh, but the other camp are just as strong in their support of uh, Mao Yuxi. Uh, first, listen to Frozen Tier Lin. Uh, he's an elderly scholar with a conscience who dares to tell the truth. Uh, and also, this take posted on KittyNet.net. Uh, Mao himself doesn't care about these criticisms or opposition against him. He tries to help the poor as always. Over the past two decades, he's promoted the poverty alleviation programs and donated hundreds of thousands of dollars of his own money to the poor. Okay, uh, besides those more general opinions, uh, on a more specific level, which of his remarks uh, uh, does it seem have raised the most discussion amongst net users? Well, plenty actually. Uh, it seems almost anything he says gets a strong reaction. And from what I've seen, the loudest discussions tended to be about his remarks on the DLU Islands, uh, that's a territorial dispute between China and Japan, and some controversial remarks he made on government-supported affordable housing. Uh, first, listen to this comment on QQ.com. Uh, Mao said we shouldn't fight for the DLU Island. That's nothing but a betrayal of our country. And he said China has no need for an aircraft carrier. Then I want to ask how we should protect our coastal areas. And uh, his opposition to having bathrooms in low-priced accommodation for poor people is totally discrimination against the poor. Uh, but uh, other net users point out that uh, on lots of occasions, people interpret him out, out of context. Uh, one typical example on this side is this take on YCWB.com. Uh, on the DLU Island issue, what Mao tried to say is it's not worth waging a war. After all, nobody can guarantee we can defeat the U.S.-Japanese alliance. Uh, the losses will outweigh the possible benefits, uh, which are the resources. And uh, whenever there's a war, it's always the ordinary people who suffer the most. And as for affordable houses, uh, Mao thinks poor people actually can't afford them, and they will just be bought by high-income earners and corrupt officials, which is exactly what's happening.
And as for the no bathroom plan, uh, he actually says no private bathrooms, but instead public ones. He says that in this way, rich people will go away and leave these houses for poor people who really need them. Uh, and interestingly, political posters make a conclusion about the fixed characteristics of both mouse fans and detractors. Uh, for instance, Huan Chiu newspaper published an article uh, in which it says, uh, both mouse supporters and uh, opposers move in their own fixed circles. The former are mainly the Chinese liberal intellectuals and the elites from the Western world. The latter are usually those named as leftists or the Five Fan Party in the Chinese online community. Uh, and just to explain, Five Fan Party refers to pro-government uh, internet commentators hired by the authorities to post the comments favorable towards the party and uh, government policies, uh, allegedly at a rate of five fen or about eight cents for every post. Okay, Esther. Uh, finally, let's have a look at, uh, uh, at the reaction to what uh, are possibly Mao Yuzhu's most controversial comments, uh, where he criticizes former chairman uh, and founder of the Communist Party of China, Mao Zedong, uh, very much a sacred cow for many Chinese people. Uh, how has that gone down with net users? All right. In fact, I was going to mention this. Uh, some people simply can't accept his remarks on Chairman Mao at all and are afraid it strikes at the very heart of the current establishment in China. Uh, like Wu Lin Gaoshou on Baidu.com. Uh, Mao Zedong was the founder of our country, our party, and our socialist system. Rejecting him means rejecting our history and a socialist system. Uh, while some argue it doesn't hurt to actually listen to what Mao Yuxi had to say, uh, Yang Sheng from Beijing has its take. Uh, today's young people who are in their 20s or 30s actually know very little about the reality of our modern history and our party. This 84-year-old has experienced that period in real life and wish to listen to him, although we don't necessarily have to agree with him. Uh, finally, I'd like to share this rather thought-provoking comment from uh, Liu Zhongliang. Uh, I think our description of right wing and left wing is too one-sided. For me, they are both patriotic and both have a sense of social responsibility. They just have different viewpoints on certain issues and different ways in solving problems. The left wing focuses more on social fairness and a big government, while the right wing encourages less uh, government intervention and calls for more freedom and rights for the public. I think it's a waste of time to, uh, to have so much argument and dispute between the two sides. Instead, we should work together to make the country more beautiful. Okay, thanks for that, Esther. And that was China Tech researcher Esther Dung with uh, online views on uh, economist Mao Yuxia and uh, the divisive opinions about him, uh, both, uh, both online and uh, in the public in general. Next up on China Tech, some of the top trending phrases on China's most popular search engines.